Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be asking one simple question. Does overclocking your GPU actually yield any noticeable results in a gaming scenario? To do this, we're going to be using the 2013 version of Tomb Raider. We've used this today because we can run it at 1920 by 1080 and really crank the settings up. And with its in-game benchmark, we'll be able to see if we get any increases in frame rate as we start to overclock the GPU. Now, the rig that I'm using is fairly indicative of an average spec gaming rig today. It features an Intel Core i5-4590 CPU, an R9-280X GPU, and about 8GB of DDR3 RAM. Using MSI Afterburn, we can tweak the clock settings of our GPU. We're going to start off with the base clock speeds, which is, for this particular 280X GPU, a core clock of 1GHz and a memory clock of 1.5GHz. Now we're going to run the benchmarks first of all with these settings and see what average frame rates it will give us the maximum frame rate, the minimum frame rate and the average frame rate, we'll record that. And then we're going to start increasing the clock speeds and seeing how the frame rate is affected as we increase the speed of the GPU. Now, one of the biggest concerns that people have when it comes to overclocking a graphics card is if it is going to do damage to the GPU. Thankfully, these days, GPUs have built-in facilities that will actually throttle the clock speeds if it determines that it's getting too hot. If you take a look up in the top left hand corner of the video, you will see that we're actually recording the CPU temperatures and the GPU temperatures. Now, it's all well and good having an overclock that increases your frame rates by X amount, but if you're kicking out far too much heat in your case, that is not going to be acceptable. So we've set a maximum temperature limit for these benchmarks of 70 degrees C. Now, let's take a look at the frame rates that we achieved during the three tests. So with the base clock of 1GHz core clock and 1.5GHz RAM, we achieved an average FPS of 115.8. Adding 50MHz onto both the core clock and the VRAM, we managed to achieve an extra 2 frames per second on average. Now, with the final overclock, we increased the stock GPU clock speed from 1 GHz up to 1.1 GHz, and we also increased the VRAM speed from 1.5 GHz up to 1.625 GHz. Now, this netted us a really healthy 123.3 FPS on average. Now, that is an increase from the base frequency of 7.5 FPS. Overclocking your GPU is not going to suddenly turn a low-end GPU into a really high-end GPU. It can help bridge that gap between two cards and perhaps allow you to reach a stable either 30 or 60 FPS. But at the end of the day, it's not going to fundamentally change the card that you have in your system. But with all that said and done, overclocking, especially with the easy-to-use tools that are now available, it is free power. So go ahead, give it a go yourself and see what you can achieve. Thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.